Hey guys, welcome to the Hemp Cast. Uh, I was going to take a break today and go fishing, but the weather here in Brisbane is very ordinary, and I thought it was a bit risky because I was going to take out the kayak and there were thunderstorms forecast for early this morning. It's water, steel kayak pole, lightning. Didn't think it would be a great mix. There was a few things I mentioned yesterday, sort of talking about my 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 video which was a letter from Facebook about not supporting my business model and disapproving ads um, that was all kind of part and parcel with taking on the risk of starting something that's hemp or cannabis related uh, especially when it's such a new product that not a lot of people know anything about and this huge stigma that it carries but there was a lot more risks than that from the get-go knowing whether we were going to be able to legally market anything we took on and started this journey before we even knew that hemp food regulations were actually going to take place. Like there were two or three applications previously in previously in previous years to try and get hemp foods passed or hemp passed as a food, and they got declined. Then the decision came forward again this year, 28th of April, 2017. It happened, so that was a big risk that was kind of struck off. It's going to take, took a few months for the regulations to take place, like I said in a video yesterday, November 12th, 2017 is when we can really celebrate. It's part of the huge risk that I had to come to terms with in deciding to follow my passion and do what I want to do, and is that, that, that is kind of giving a pitch to people, whether it be friends, family, friends of friends, social settings, business development, when people always ask the generic social question, so what do you do? I'm in IT, okay cool. I'm a personal trainer, wow that's awesome. I run my marketing business, wow that's great. I run a hemp company, hemp foods, hemp supplements. Pretty scary prospect for some people, some people don't know how to react. That's where my education process continues. I try and kind of brush that stigma out of people's heads of what their image of me is uh, in the direction that I take and what I've decided to do. It's just a little bit of a something on risk I wanted to touch on after me nearly risking my life with lightning this morning and fishing, decided not to, but I promise when I go fishing I'll take you with me. Don't know how I film it, but take it from me and Courtney and my friends it's usually a pretty comical experience not really the best fisherman but I try hard I really do try hard I want to get a lot better at it and I'm getting better practice makes perfect it's consistency it's my downtime it's what I like to do any spare second I've got is go for a paddle being out in nature moving on from that today I'm gonna to do some salted caramel slices uh, another recipe video show you how to speaking of risk I have my food processor that I have to unwrap as I mentioned before I've already blown up two food processors this is my third food processor product review here for Philips it better work and this is how it's gonna go down Lighting coming from this direction and then that down. Like I was putting this here to see with like the shadow, like it creates depth. Pretending I know what I'm talking about. Do you reckon this one's gonna blow up? Whoa, display rack of blades and whiskers. This one? Good guys. I'm impressed so far. Ah, juicer.
ready for dates. Well that was touch and go, chucked all the dates in the new 1300 watt mega processor thingy bob and uh, it stopped working. But I figured out that they have a safety switch on them so when the hopper sort of comes loose off the top of the food processor they just cut out. But now I'm sort of beginning to think that uh, might have been maybe the problem with the first two. But I'm just threw them out anyway just to save embarrassment if that was the case so it doesn't matter I'll just quickly show you this is how I film overhead I got this little knuckle thingy here doesn't look like much but it cost a lot of money and got this soft lighting here I just get that kind of stuff off eBay bought this old coffee table which I use for most of my photography I just got that off Gumtree for like 30 bucks the dude was pretty upset about letting it go if I'm honest I was kind of thinking about just sending him all the product shots and all the videos as we go so he's still got some type of attachment to his old coffee table. I think it's a lead infused coffee table because when I went to pick it up the guy wasn't home. He said, hey mate, it's under the house, just grab it and chuck it in the back of the ute. And let me tell you, I put a sweat on that day getting it in the back of the car. Hopefully you guys like the finished product of the salted caramel slice. The name's a little bit misleading. There actually isn't any caramel at all, but the mixture of the salt and the maple syrup and the cacao powder that's in there gives it that taste that sort of tastes like salt and caramel, so that's why we call them that. That's another awesome re recipe from the Empire Body Shop, Adam and Eve Wellness. Those guys are great at putting out some really good recipes that um, are refined, sugar-free, and really good for you. Thanks again, guys, for watching the Hemp Cast. I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you enjoy the finished product. Check it out. It'll be on the blog, on the website, Instagram, Facebook. You can su subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Instagram's Tom underscore Hemp Factory if you want to keep following. And as many likes, shares and subscribes we get, the better. It really helps good awareness towards anything to do with inside the cannabis industry if you're a supporter. If not, that's your own agenda and I don't mind at all. Hope you have a great week, weekend, and we'll see you soon.